you could hear my name is Eva Hartai. I am an honorary professor at University of Miskolc, Hungary, and I'm also the coordinator of the NG project. If, uh, later, I, I will explain uh, what NG means, but a few, first a few words about why NG was initiated. Several studies prove that diverse working teams are more creative and innovative. But geosciences and the related engineering professions are traditionally dominated by men. Uh, this is why in the NG project, we try to raise the interest of young girls for geosciences and the relating engineering fields. And this way, we would like to improve the gender balance in these professions. NG is an acronym coming from encouraging girls to study geosciences and engineering. It is an EU funded project, more precisely funded by EIT raw materials. The EIT is the European, Innovation, European Institute of Innovation and Technology. And we have a very good European coverage because we have 25 partners from 21 European countries. Uh, the partnership includes three universities from Sweden, Italy, uh, Sweden, Croatia and Hungary. Uh, three, uh, two research institutions from Spain and Italy, and a Europe-wide organization, this is the European Federation of Geologists, which brought in into the project its national member associations, 20 national member associations, the, these are uh, geological associations, uh, so this way we could cover these 20, 21 European countries. As I mentioned, gender is the main aspect of our project, but there is another pro uh, other aspect that the general geoscientific knowledge in society is quite limited. But this knowledge is essential to understand why uh, where resources such as energy, minerals, water, or even food come from or how to better prepare for natural hazards and how to mitigate them. In the NG project, we try to respond to these challenges. The work started with a baseline assessment. Uh, we carried out a Europe-wide survey in 21 European countries on the interest of uh, secondary school students, boys and girls, uh, secondary school students for geosciences. And in this survey, almost 5,000 students were involved and more than 700 teachers were involved. We organized a lot of workshops. Uh, workshops uh, with invited female geoscientists to know their motivation for choosing this profession and to know their experiences uh, as for being a female in a male-dominated uh, profession. Uh, and then we set up the NG actions. I will speak about the, the details later. And we worked out a complex reporting uh, system for these actions. So these actions are harmonized in these 21 European countries. And we make a very careful impact assessment because we really want to know if our efforts are successful. And uh, this impact assessment is based on surveys again. And even if the project ends this year, because it's a three year long project started at the beginning of 2020 and will end in December this year, but even if it is not funded, we declare that we would come back in 2022 and make a, another Europe-wide survey again to know if to know the results of and the impact of our project. This the picture just illustrates the most successful international workshop with invited women experts. Uh, Eighteen really 
high profile outstanding experts from the geo professions were invited and there was a very fruitful discussion about the motivation and the experiences and about their advice how to attract uh, young women into this profession uh, we created several studies reports uh, like on uh, uh, the status of geoscience education in schools and the best practice report in teaching STEM, again, in Europe. We also created this document, the NG Action Plan, and there were several other studies. NG Actions, this is the main part of the project. Uh, so far, we organized more than 200 events in these 21 countries. And these events include uh, science clubs, uh, field trips, the NG sections of Girls Day, University Open Day, Researchers Nights, and lots of other kinds of activities. We also organized numerous work, uh, webinars because, because webinars, this was the main tool during the COVID uh, period to, to reach people. And uh, these webinars were organized both in English and in the national languages. And we also organized with a huge interest the NG video contest for girls. Here you can see the uh, finalists of this contest. And it was amazing to see the uh, commitment and the enthusiasm and the professionalism of these young girls who want to choose the geosciences as a career, as a profession. We also organized the NG, NG for Geodiversity photo contest. And uh, this, in, this was organized not only for girls, but boys could also participate because our project is about inclusivity. So we do not want to exclude boys if they are interested. And we realized that when young girls think about choosing a career or a profession, uh, role models play a very important role. So that's why we created 10 videos about 10 role models in different fields of uh, geosciences. And uh, it, is, it, it has really a very high interest. We created a lot of material like uh, the NG magazine, which was published in every second month. And this GS booklet, a beautiful booklet about 12 pioneering female geoscientists. And we translated it into different languages. So from the project website, this GS booklet is available in 15 languages. And we created a lot of brochures and um, video animations, a lot of video animations and the NG movie. And this NG movie was submitted to the Earth Futures Festival. Uh, this is a film festival. And this movie was selected to the best 50 from the more than 1,000 submissions. And this is what I'm very proud of. This is the methodology course for science teachers, again, created, set up within the project. And uh, with, this, with this course, we, did, uh, we didn't want to, to provide a gen general geoscientific knowledge to teachers because there are lots of, lots of uh, courses like that. Instead, we focused on specific topics, so-called hot topics, which are very relevant in these days. For example, climate change, geothermal energy, natural hazards, mineral raw materials, and so on. And uh, with the aim of this course is to help teachers teach geosciences in an attractive and engaging way. We invited 
outstanding experts and they were willing to contribute with presentations. So they provided their video presentations the, and the presentation material, the PBT files, PDF files, collection of useful links, literature. So, uh, and everything is organized in uh, modules. Not, now we have one more module. So for the moment we have seven modules. And I mentioned that we uh, organize this, uh, we, we make an impact assessment. And uh, this, uh, the aim of this uh, impact assessment to know if the project has achieved its goals. And we also measure, want to measure the impact on, on the target group, girls, and also on society. And uh, we, this impact assessment is uh, based on surveys, Europe-wide surveys, and uh, a careful assessment of this service. And it is successful, I can probably say that. Because EIT, the European Institute of Innovation and Technology, selected NG and de uh, declared that it's an EIT success story in 2022. And me, I as a coordinator, I was nominated for the EIT Women Leadership Award, but Unfortunately, I'm not the winner, but I'm very proud and, and even it's a great honor for me to be a nominee. So far, uh, we have reached more than, uh, more than 800,000 people with these NG actions. And my vision is not only that the gender balance will improve in the in geosciences, and I can see that even in the raw material sectors, but also that more and more young people will get familiar with the earth processes and the human impact on our planet. And this will help them in developing responsible thinking when they become adult citizens. And uh, I think that we will also we will be able to find and work out the best methods on how to orient young people towards the professions, towards the sectors in which we need a highly skilled workforce. So that was all from my side and thank you for your attention.